So Boundless Theatre makes work for audiences who are 15 to 25, teenagers and young adults. Every choice that we make from the plays on stage, through to the projects, the work in schools and the artists that we develop, uh, aim to put that audience first. So we are constantly in conversation with the very people we're trying to reach. That means we have an advisory group who look like our audience, who aren't necessarily theatre fans themselves, uh, but we hope may become fans over the, over the life that they, they spend with us as a company. I think it's just about showing people who haven't been to the theatre before the difference between watching a show on your TV at home and watching it live in the theatre. Experiencing something in a room with people of a similar age to them, um, people who they've never met before, and feeling unified by that experience. So Confidence is set on the south coast of England over the course of a summer season. A young woman, Ella, turns up uh, like an absolute whirlwind with big dreams to get away from the place that she grew up. She wants to go to Hollywood, not to make a, a sort of career as an actor, but to become a businesswoman. And, and Tanya brilliantly read it, got very excited by it. Her instincts on the character were extraordinary and, and throughout that sort of auditioning process and, and those conversations that followed, uh, we both had a sort of mutual excitement really for bringing this yeah. play to an audience of young people now. Yeah, I've, I've had amazing support that I've noticed on comments on my YouTube videos, on Twitter, on Instagram, that most of my audience are just super excited. A lot of them are theatre goers themselves. Some of them have never seen a play before and Confidence will be their first play that they're coming to see. I came from a family where we didn't have the money to go to the theatre, but my mum would get plays that were recorded on um, and then put onto VHS tapes. And I, that was how I watched all the Shakespeare plays when I was younger and how I was introduced to theatre was actually watching them on videotape at home. Um, so that was my first introduction to theatre. And then I went to an art school where I got to experience it and got to be on stage when I was younger. And then growing up, since I've moved to London, I go and see plays as much as I can and I love going to the theatre. I think it's just such an amazing experience that is like no other. To be real about it, you know, the studio theatres that we have in London and across the country lend themselves really well to an audience who are used to scrutinising sort of digital content in a way, the kind of closeness to it um, is really exciting. Of course, with that means you have to think in precise detail as to what they're watching. And I think for us as a company, if you respect the audience experience and you create work that feels hopefully nuanced, uh, feels specific and particular, uh, then you, you kind of reap the rewards afterwards. I think it's about putting on relevant plays that appeal to young people. And a play like Confidence is such a fun play to watch for one thing. We hope it will make people laugh. Um, and it's very fast paced and exciting to watch but at the same time it has an important message for young people that hopefully will feel very relevant for them. But also the question we never seem to ask is, is what is the value of theatre? And I think for a lot of teenagers, um, even if you took the financial barrier away, I ask the question often of, of theatres and producers, how do you think any teenager gets a pair of trainers or gets a ticket to a gig or gets a Netflix subscription? I think it's about choosing the right place um, as a theatre company to put on, I think Rob's picked an amazing one.